Hi, I'm Dr. Hajra Nazir and I am a dental surgeon and a cosmetic dentist. I have eight years of experience in this field and uh, I'm the founder and director of Rishman Dental, which is located in Langford Road. A woman's oral health is very important uh, for her overall systemic health. If you can see that uh, the oral health, it affects the uh, systemic health in different ways. There are certain diseases uh, which can occur. If you can see like heart disease, stroke, respiratory disorders, all this which are related to the gum diseases especially because of the bacteria which are present which are transported through the bloodstream about the hormones affecting the uh, women of course if you can see that there are um, these two hormones uh, which is uh, mainly the progesterone and estrogen which uh, whenever you see there is an increase in uh, progesterone and estrogen so hormones in a woman play a very important role if you can see that we go through several stages in life like uh, puberty, menses, pregnancy, then few women are on oral contraceptive, then we have the, the menopausal stage. So let's discuss about how these hormones affect the oral health. There are uh, hormones like progesterone and estrogen which increase during puberty stage which are the predisposing factors for the risk of periodontal diseases and gingivitis. Gingivitis is basically the inflammation of the gums and the periodontal diseases lead to loss of tooth at a very early age. The young ladies, they have a tendency towards eating a lot of uh, food during a puberty. So we need to go in for a regular dental checkup to avoid any kind of an oral health issues. Now the next stage we are going to talk about is menses. Now during menses, it does not really have any effect on a woman having a healthy gingiva. But whenever a woman has oral issues uh, like swollen gums, it may uh, lead to uh, atrophy of the salivary glands as well as uh, nerve bleeding, a severe bleeding of the gum and leading to periodontitis. Hence, we need to visit the dentist at least once in six months so that we can get a round of uh, scaling done and improve our oral hygiene. Let's talk about pregnancy. Now, during pregnancy, if you can see that um, many ladies tend to avoid the dentists thinking that it is uh, not necessary or it is going to be harmful for the baby. But we can tell you that it is a very important thing to visit the dentist because during pregnancy, uh, there are a lot of uh, problems which you can face. For uh, example, you can see that there are swollen gums and due to nausea and vomiting, you can see dental erosions which are happening and which can lead to dental caries. Uh, the procedure can be carried out at uh, the uh, second trimester of the pregnancy, which is supposed to be the safe period. Uh, where uh, the uh, baby is too small uh, to have any kind of an effect on it. So now we are going to talk about uh, the uh, menopausal stage. Now menopausal stage is a stage where uh, which is usually you can see in women after 40 years of age. Now these women again uh, the hormone levels are increased uh, the hormones especially the progesterone and the estrogen are increased and it causes uh, periodontal problems which can uh, even have an impact on your uh, mouth uh, which can lead uh, to burning mouth syndrome there are several other issues which a woman face uh, during this phase it's better to go to a dentist and get a dental checkup done so that we can avoid further issues so uh, now we are going to talk about the women who are on oral contraceptives. Uh, there is an increased level of uh, progesterone and estrogen, which are again the predisposing factors uh, for uh, the gum infections. You can see that the composition of the saliva during uh, whenever there is a consumption of oral contraceptive, it is decreased so it may lead to dryness of the mouth which can lead to several other dental issues a woman on oral contraceptive needs to inform the dentist whenever they are going in for a procedure for example if the woman on oral contraceptive is going for uh, extraction 
they have to uh, inform the dentist that they are on it because it may lead uh, to a prolonged uh, healing and it may lead uh, to a condition called as dry socket which is going to be very painful. So basically here I want to stress that the women need to take care of their body. The three important things what we can do is brushing, flossing and mouth rinse. These are the three main important things and we women always neglect our health. So it, if we can visit a dentist which will definitely, the dentist would definitely tell you the facts about how to uh, avoid certain things and would help you with a lot of uh, important uh, knowledge about uh, how to improve your oral hygiene and uh, we can see that the fluoride application uh, during all these stages is very important to decrease the uh, dental caries it helps in remineralization and uh, it makes the teeth strong.